Welcome to a video from the digitallifestyle.com. We've got a new build of Windows 10 to look at. This is 14383 that was released for PC and mobile. In this video, we're looking at the PC version. I've got a separate mobile video up. One thing you'll notice on here, there is no watermark down here anymore. Previous builds had the watermark which showed the build number. That's gone. Normally that means this is the release version or potential release version, but Microsoft say they've taken it out, but there will still be more builds on the way. It may be that they find issues with future builds, and this is the one that goes out, uh, 1438, uh, 14383, but I suspect there'll be more builds. So what's changed in this build? Well, as it's only uh, fixes, no new features, there's a few things. One is around the extensions. When you go to the extensions page in Microsoft Edge, you no longer um, get taken to the extensions page. So if I go on to there, previously that took you to the web page. In fact, the one that was on there before, you took you to there and then you have to go and select it. Now it takes you straight to the store and shows you all the available extensions. Uh, still the same extensions, but it's now got its own section on there, which I think is, is really good. Some of the things they've done, they can uh, change the Cortana listen to Windows key Shift and C based on feedback. Um, they've um, up updated the Quick Action Center will be preserved across updates. They fixed an issue disconnecting on the Surface Book from an external monitor. They fixed an issue with a setting app uh, was showing media controls on the taskbar preview pane. Uh, they fixed issue uh, dragging a file. Uh, compression or managed libraries between two monitors with different DPIs would would uh, not work correctly. They fixed the issue with check marks to indicate a selected state in an app bar. Toggle button wasn't visible in high contrast mode. Uh, what else they fixed? Fixed the issue connecting the PC remote desktop maximize. They've uh, done uh, monitor fixes. Um, fixed issues with Bluetooth mice such as the Microsoft Touch Arc. And they fixed uh, issues with um, Narrator and uh, memory leak with Microsoft Edge and LastPass. There are a few known issues, in fact there's, there's two. Uh, uh, you, if you, you get a notification that pop up saying that uh, your Windows evaluation copy expires the 15th of July, don't worry that's just a dialog box and it won't expire and Microsoft are going to get rid of that. And there's an issue with Hyper-V as well. Now one thing that was an issue in the last bill was the Connect app didn't work. And that's not mentioned in the release note. The Connect app is a Miracast app and uh, it wouldn't connect properly from my phone. So I've got my Lumia 950 here and I'm going to try and uh, connect with that and see if that has been fixed. And yes, that has been fixed. So there you go. So they've, it's not the release notes, but they fixed the, the Connect. So that is all the changes on this uh, build. Um, no watermark, lots of fixes. And uh, you can go back, back to the very first builds of Windows 10 if you want, all the way back, or at least back to the first of this anniversary update on our YouTube channel, and you'll see all the build videos on there, PC and mobile as well. I'm at Ian Dixon on Twitter. Thanks for watching this video, and we're nearly there, nearly at release, not long now.